If you're looking for the best MTB helmet here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on the features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Gyro Manifest Spherical. Despite its mid-range price tag, the Fox Speedframe Pro is one of our top-rated and most highly regarded helmets. This recently released model nearly bested several helmets that cost significantly more. It packs many of the features we would expect from a top-of-the-line trail helmet, including a MIPS rotational impact system, dual-density EPS foam, a goggle-accommodating adjustable visor, and a highly adjustable harness system. Out on the trail, it was one of the most comfortable, well-ventilated models we tested. It feels light on your head and offers a secure, confidence-inspiring fit. Additionally, it received the best available 5-star rating in Virginia Tech's independent helmet safety testing. The Speedframe Pro is slightly heavier than the rest of the top-shelf models. It's not ridiculously heavy by any means, but it tacks on an extra 50 grams compared to the lightest models. Additionally, the Speedframe doesn't quite provide the same level of coverage as the other top contenders. Regardless, it's still well worth a look for anyone in the market for a choice new lid at an approachable price. Moving on to the next at number 2 with POC Cordal Race MIPS. The Cordal Race MIPS is a new model from POC that stands out for its impressive protective qualities. The Cordal builds off the success of the ever-popular Tectal, with a deep fit and even more head coverage. It also features a new rotational impact protection system called MIPS Integra, which is strikingly similar to POC's spin system, although now it features a low-friction slip plane integrated into the foam of the helmet. This MIPS system is low-profile and has the added benefit of not blocking any of the vents or air channels in this very well-ventilated helmet. In fact, this is one of the airiest helmets we've ever tested. The Cordal also features a new three-position adjustable visor that is designed to easily break away in the event of a direct impact. Additional features like Aramid bridges for structural integrity, a RECO reflector, and an NFC medical ID chip further enhance its protective-slash-safety qualities. The Cordal also carries all of the usual safety certifications in addition to the new Dutch e-bike standard. Our gripes with the Cordal are few, but we did find a few nits to pick. We found the fit of the shell to be slightly narrower than most other helmets we tested, which may be an issue for those with particularly round head shapes. The number 3 position is held by Gyro Tyrant MIPS. As part of a new wave of moto-inspired, open-face trail helmets, the Gyro Tyrant provides significantly more head coverage than most of the standard mountain bike helmets we tested. Gyro builds this beefy lid as a versatile option that can span the gap between gravity, trail, and dirt jump helmets. After weeks of rigorous testing, we support Gyro's claim that it's an incredibly versatile helmet despite its heavy, protective construction. The first thing you'll notice when donning the Tyrant is that it shares a unique dual-shell construction with its half-shell counterpart, the Manifest. The inner shell is low-density EPP foam for minor impacts, and the outer shell is high-density EPS to absorb major collisions. Despite its double-shell composition, the helmet keeps a relatively low profile on your head, and the vents do a surprisingly good job of keeping things cool. Combine the innovative protection and coverage with Gyro's Rock Lock Harness System and refined shell shape, and you have a helmet that stays comfortable all day. While we hugely appreciated the Tyrant's extra coverage and protection when things got rowdy, it does come with a weight penalty. This product is by far one of the heaviest we've ever tested. It doesn't make you feel like a bobblehead like some of the heavier full-face helmets out there, but you'll undoubtedly notice that it's heftier than a standard half-shell trail helmet. Next at number 4 we have 100% Alltech. 100% designed a remarkably calculated half-shell trail helmet with the Alltech. For a brand that focuses mainly on full-face models, they nailed the Alltech's ventilation and construction while managing to sneak in some clever features to make your life easier out on the trail. 
The first thing we noticed when donning this helmet for a ride was the breathability. Don't be fooled by its limited vents. They are large, strategically placed, and lead directly to an interior channel in the EPS foam shell that runs around the back of the head. It does a great job keeping your head cool and relatively sweat-free on hot days or long climbs. Beyond its airy feel, the Alltech features a solid, durable construction that seems like it will last at least a few seasons if you can avoid head impacts. After two months of heavy testing, our test model looked as good as new. The finish on the polycarbonate outer shell doesn't scratch easily, and there's very little exposed EPS foam to chip away over time. Add in 100% S Smart Shock Elastomer Rotational Impact Protection, and the relatively low price compared to some of our other top models, and we think the Alltech is a great value. The two downsides we found associated with the Alltech are the EPS shell fit and the average degree of head coverage. We noticed some minor pressure points at the back of the head every time we put the helmet on, but it never became a major discomfort out on the trail. It's not an uncomfortable feeling, but it lacks the glove-like fit suited for many head shapes. Moreover, it does provide a little bit of extra coverage compared to traditional cross-country and road helmets, the Altec sits a bit higher on the head than some of the other top models in our test. The number 5 position is held by Troy Lee Designs Mountain Bike Helmet. The Troy Lee Designs A2 Jet Helmet is a straightforward option that is designed for optimal protection of your head. The helmet has 16 air vents that move air into, over, and out of the helmet and the Coolmax pads will keep you dry, perfect for riding in hot and humid conditions. The helmet has wide range of adjustability, I was easily able to get a great fit by adjusting the simple camlock stabilizer. The shell of the helmet is constructed with an advanced smooth, polycarbonate, shell material. This simple and effective design is for the mountain biker and cross-country rider who's is looking for safety and functionality, instead of extra unwanted features. The A2 Helmet Helmet also provides excellent protection for the back of your head, so if wipe out doing a back flip or just manage to hit the back of your head, you will have full protection. Its price point places it square in middle of the pack compared to other helmets tested. In my opinion it is the best mountain bike helmet for the money. It is lightweight, well ventilated, maintaining the highest quality and protection with MIPS. The Troy Lee Designs is our editor's choice for the best MTB helmet. The number 6 position is dominated by POC Tectal MTB helmet. If you're ready to head out on the trails, but you need a new helmet, I would seriously look at the POC Tectal helmet. Once you pick it up you will see the quality construction that went into it. The solid unibody construction of the Tectal gives you serious protection in the event of a head impact. And you know it's a question of when, not if. The Tectal has a unique Aramid grid that you're paying a little extra for. The Armid grid is able to absorb and dissipate the forces of an impact reducing forces on your skull to prevent injury. The helmet has large openings for ventilation that was designed in a wind tunnel to optimize the size and placement. It features an adjustable visor for sun protection and a goggle on the back if you choose wear them. The four-point harness system keeps the helmet firmly on your head and is fully adjustable to get the perfect fit. The liner is comfortable and has wicking properties to keep your head cool and dry. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Smith Optics Forefront 2 Mountain Bike Helmet. When I think of Smith Optics the first thing that comes to mind is their ski goggles, but their helmets are definitely worth a look. The Forefront MTB helmet was designed from the ground up for superior protection of your head. It has an in-mold construction of choroid tubes that are made from a copolymer that not only looks badass, like something out of Star Wars, but it protects your head better than a typical EPS foam helmet. And it's not just looks and protection, it also gives you lighter weight and it's cooler because the hollow construction of the copolymer tubes allows significantly better airflow through the helmet. This keeps you cooler when the temperature starts rising. The fitting system will give you unmatched fit and comfort and the four-point harness keeps it securely on your head if you crash. What I really like other than the protection and looks is it has a pre-installed mounting bracket for a bike headlight, Click here for my reviews of bike lights, or a GoPro to record your ride. 
The number 8 position is held by Gyro Montaro MIPS bike helmet. There is a lot to like about the Gyro Montaro MTB helmet. The more I learn about MIPS, multi-directional impact protection system, the more I like it, and is one of the reasons the Montaro is on my list. If you're not familiar with MIPS, in a nutshell it helps protect against head injury in a crash by reducing your head rotation. You can read all about the technology by click the link above. Knock on wood, I haven't had any major crashes so I can't say if it helps, but since I value my head, to me the slight extra cost is worth it. You can get an idea of how the inner liner can rotate independently from the outer shell reducing the rotational forces on your head in a crash. While MIPS is a good reason to get the Montaro, along with the Smith Optics, it's by far the only reason. The Montaro is also one of the most comfortable MTV helmets on the market. The Montaro's lightweight is one of the main reasons. After you start riding you will forget it's on your head, which is the best test for a helmet's comfort level. The lining has an antimicrobial pads made with silver that prevents the growth of odor causing bacteria. Nice. Not only that it has wicking properties that absorb your sweat and keep you cooler at the same time. Next at number 9 we have Bell Super 3, our MIPS Adult MTB Bike Helmet. The Bell Super 3 or helmet is a full-face, feature-packed helmet to keep your head protected on the trails and give you confidence go all out knowing your melon will not get hurt. The helmet is comprised of a fusion in mold polycarbonate shell with internal reinforcement, this helmet packs in all the safety features you will ever need, while going above and beyond minimum safety standards. The Bell Super 3 or MTB helmet is a versatile helmet for both recreational rides and extreme trail riding. It's unlike the other helmets tested, it features a modular construction, so you can take the chin guard off when not needed, making it two helmets in one. You really get the best of both worlds, a great open-face helmet and the best full-face mountain bike helmet. The helmet provides full coverage, is well-ventilated, has an open visual field, and accommodates any size protective goggles. Finally the number 10 position is dominated by Bell Sixer MIPS Mountain Bike Helmet. Bell Sixer is basically the little brother to the Bell Super with the difference mainly that is not a full-face helmet. I like that the liner has silver fibers that inhibits the growth of bacteria so it doesn't get stinky. It's one of the heavier helmets out there, but that's due to the extra polystyrene foam inside the helmet, it's definitely thicker than many other helmets. I would assume it gives you an extra measure of protection because of it plus it has MIPS protection. Spending a lot of time in FL, ventilation is important to me. The Sixer has 20 large vents that provide excellent airflow. The visor has four positions for adjustment, or you can remove it completely by just unsnapping it. The breakaway helmet mount is perfect for recording your rides and jumps. The helmet is very durable with a polycarbonate shell that can take lots of abuse, which being a mountain bike helmet it inevitably will. The Sixer comes down far over the back of your head offering full coverage and protection. Overall the Sixer is an excellent helmet at a reasonable price. That's all for today. We upload outdoor product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.